Wow. Brooklyn on a Saturday is fantastic. Hi. Are you ready to order? Yes. Biscuit. Wedge salad. Our hamburger sandwich. So we're not just here at Gage and Tolner for me to have an amazing solo lunch. I wanted to understand how a restaurant runs through the lens of the dishwasher. The dishwasher is arguably one of the most important jobs at a restaurant, and a dish pit basically keeps a restaurant running. And Gage and Tolner has an amazing dishwasher named Dre. How you doing, boss man? So I'm here to meet him and find out how he does his job. How was everything? It was all so good. I think I'm gonna take my own dishes down so I can meet Dre, but oh, everything was amazing. Fantastic. Busters, they have a hard job. All right. Hi, Dre. Hello. I'm Priya. I'm Dre Vaughn. It's nice to meet you. I got a stack of dirty dishes. We just place it down right here first. Okay. The utensils, they're going to go inside of the big boy right here. And scraps. scraps, we have this little small garbage here. And voila. You've got quite a control center here. Yeah, you see what I'm dealing with? And it's great timing, because it's Saturday. So you know it's crazy busy on Saturday. Busy lunch, busy dinner. Busy lunch, busy dinner. You are so tall. Yeah, right, like six <laughs> fives. Like, do I stop growing? Like, Plus the hat height, it adds like another inch or two. <laughs> yeah, I look like a mannequin doing this, right? <laughs> How was the food? Was it, was it good? It was, was it so good. Oh my god. What time did you get in? At 12.30. Okay. I go downstairs and I like to check downstairs first. Make sure that they didn't hide in anything from us. Sometimes it'd be dirty dishes down there. Going on up. Gotta <laughs> pick it up and you know bring it back up here. Going up. Surprisingly it's dead right now. But around dinner time, you're gonna you're gonna see it pick up really I'm fast. really excited. Yeah. Could you just walk me through the life cycle of a dish? So it like starts here dirty, and then where does it go? Basically spray them down right here. Make sure we get it real nice and clean before we put it inside of this machine right here. And it's just like a very hot dishwasher, basically. Basically, yes. After we will organize it and put it back to where they belong. This is where Keith comes in, and Keith takes it to where it needs to go. Exactly. You know this kitchen so well. I saw you sorting yes, the dishes yes. out. I mean, that was amazing. I know, back of my hand. You the one that's hanging up. You guys seem like you're a really good team. Yes, we is. He's fast, too. You know, they say that about uh, short people. <laughs> they, they move faster than us. It's all jokes. We all, we all laugh and cackle here. It's nothing personal. <laughs> you sure or no? You just making me this small. <laughs> you and Keith could have like a great like buddy comedy. Oh yeah, <laughs> Keith. He's a comedian out here. Ain't nobody safe for Keith. When you wash dishes, it's nice to have a guy with a sense of humor. Exactly. Next to you. Are you gonna stay with that? I'm staying with that. That's golden. Who knows the kitchen better? I dare you. Keep it here longer. How do you know where everything, they're not labeled? How do you know? That's the tricky goes? part. I had to study it. And you Science. literally just by heart know. Okay, yeah. what's in this one? That one is uh, the song. Nice. Yeah. Where are the fish spatulas? Fish spatulas? Yeah. This one right here. Damn, you're good. We have the pots just sitting right there. You gotta it's announce something. yourself. Exactly, say behind, behind. Corner. So coming up right behind. Going on up. Coming up. We're gonna head up to the Sunken Harbor. You guys have any dishes for me? I do not. This is the Sunken Harbor kitchen. It is not open right now, currently. Right. Forgot to take the garbage out. Going on down. How many times are you climbing the stairs? Every chance I get when it's clear or if I have to get the dishes from downstairs, it could be every 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes? That means you're going up and down the stairs like 30 times. Yeah, it's a workout. Coming down, so it's pastry station, it's prep. We have a variety of different stations down here. Wow, so you're going up and down, up and down with, di wow. Yeah. So Sunken Harbor, pastry, downstairs. and the kitchen. You're managing all of their dishes. It's one pit, but there's six or seven places you're pulling. Them. Right. If you're not constantly working, checking, monitoring. You stop. The kitchen doesn't work. It fills up. Going on up. 
were you interested in the restaurant industry at an early age? Were you interested in food at an early age? I wasn't, I'll be honest. Um, it all started off with just wanting a job in general. I started packing bags at supermarkets and stuff like that just to make some small money. That was your first job? Yeah, like the first side hustle as a young kid that couldn't apply for jobs. Then I ended up performing on subway train stations. I was one of the tallest people that was dancing in the oh, subway. Oh, I'm sure. I had one unique move that no one still does. Which is? Really unique. They swing their ankles from the top of the the middle railing. Uh -huh. It's like what? a swing, like a three o'clock to a nine o'clock swing. That takes some core strength but now you don't do that anymore. I got arrested for dancing on a train like three times and couldn't do it again. So how did you get this job? This job, I was recommended from my brother. He was a great worker here. He was starting off as a dish, ended up doing prep work. So it was super amazing how he can just shift like that, you know? I admire that a lot. And if I'm here long enough and I'm committed, I can level up here and I can end up a, a lion cook one day. Dre's been working for a little over three hours now. He's moving dishes from at least a half a dozen parts of the kitchen. He's fast, so, 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 so fast. If he can't keep up, the kitchen just doesn't work. And this place does not close before dinner service. As chaotic as things feel now, I think they're about to get even more chaotic. All right. Coming up, corner behind. How's it going? It's going very well so far. It must be almost time for family meal, right? Four o'clock is family. That's also when it starts picking up, so that's the great time to start seeing how it looks. I'm gonna run water, you can bring them. What's Keith working on? He has to uh, clean that grill. Oh my God. When these guys are shifting mid-shift, like at around four o'clock, they bring this grill that they were using yeah. since this morning. We clean it real good and we uh, bring it right back to them. Is it meditative for you to scrape the stuff off? Yes, because I kind of like know how to get in. Yeah, you know how to get in there. Yeah. It's a proprietary technique you've got going yes, here. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think I could watch you clean this grill for like hours. This is very relaxing for me. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Just mesmerized watching him clean the grill. It's just on with the gloves. By the time I'm ready to go home, my hands just pale and wrinkled. Oh, what do they look like now? They look pretty nice. Yes. When I go outside, they <laughs> ashy. <laughs> but that's really about it. What a masterpiece. <laughs> and you did that so fast. And in two hours, you got to do it all over again. Yes, but I'll be on my way home by then. <laughs> Dre, when do you think you're going to be able to take family meal? I feel like there's no lulls. It keeps going. Yeah, it keeps going. It's nonstop. I can't abandon Keith. Can't abandon Keith, yeah. I can't leave yeah. him by itself. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's gonna be done in the next two minutes. I got you. Do you see your job as as, as a difficult job? No. I, I, I've told everybody in the pit, this is an easy job. And I know I told you this too, but you know, you, you, you see it as a otherwise. As a hard job. Yeah, this, you know I see a, it as a hard job. It's, it's a lot coming your way. You <laughs> running up and down the stairs. I look at that as just an exercise. You put two and two together, you just move at a fast pace. Metaphorically, family meal beyond the meal itself is like we're a family and we're all coming together. It's hard to keep up with that and then go back into the kitchen to keep up with that. The cooks and the preps continuously work. The dishes are never put on pause. Exactly. Yo, Keith. I'm gonna go ahead and check downstairs, all right? 
Down we go. Going on down. Voila. So he opens up the elevator, he takes the clean ones out, he puts the dirty ones in, the dirty ones goes up, he cleans those, he comes back down, he gets more dirty ones, and he puts back the clean ones. And around and around he goes. When are you gonna eat, Dre? I'm worried. I eat around, like, I'll say 4.30. That's when everybody pretty much got their food and my guys should already be coming in at that point. Are you the last person to have family meal, usually? I wouldn't say I was the last, but I'm one of the last few people that would eat. And if there's nothing left, I just go buy myself some food outside. It's all good. You good over there? You wanna switch? Whenever you ready, I'm gonna get that stuff out the elevator. Ricky, doesn't your shift end at four? I got to stay till like five, maybe five thirty. Then I'm out. It's okay, I ain't mine. Cause the family meal is gonna be coming in. All right. the plates and the spoons and all of that. The family meal that neither of you have partaken in yet. It's okay. We busy right now. <laughs> Those are the family meal dishes, right? Yeah. Oh, don't throw at me with a good time. Yeah, this one's talking to me. We're gonna go and grab some food. We gotta make sure my energy is right before we go back into this tornado of a dish pit. Man, we gotta, we gotta make sure we got our energy right. Alrighty, you guys have a great day. to six hours now. He is as energetic and smiley and excited as ever. The scene in the dining room is, it's filling up, but the dishes are very managed. Corner. Oh my God, nowhere is safe in this kitchen. Dre, how's it going? It's going really well. It's like fully Oh, it's getting packed. Yeah, okay, it's let's, packed let's see what it gives. Let's see what it brings are you, us. Are you seeing it in the dishes being brought? Like, is the is the rhythm picking up for you? A little bit. It's kind of picking up okay. a little bit more. Cool. So, surprise me, you know? <laughs> Honestly, you all in the dish pit are like the heartbeat of this restaurant. Thank you so much. Leave me retry. What do you think makes a good dishwasher at this restaurant? You gotta be focused. You gotta do what we gotta do and get it over with. Yeah, the work has to get done. You have no option. Yeah. What do you like the most about your job here? It motivates me to see other people do the right thing or respect each other. It gives me a perspective that I've been truly looking for since I was a young child. I came in early. I'll be out around like nine. I got a nice shift tomorrow though. The teamwork shows here, it really does. You gotta be there for each other, that's what it's about. It's about that way in life, in general. I really love that, I agree. What do you think is the job of the dish pit in the broader restaurant? 
The top and the bottom is the most important parts of keeping a system running. You gotta make sure that every dish in this place is washed just as much as it's food on the table. Two mixed greens, she crab soup, chicken liver. You see how Sydney, she takes her job super seriously. That's very, very important. In the end, we all go into battle with each other. It is a family, regardless of where you come from or what your role is or what you're doing. We're all helping each other to get the product out and to make the guests happy. In a kitchen, it always feels like there is a hierarchy and the dishwasher is very much at the bottom of that hierarchy. Right. And yet they play this very essential role. Traditionally, the hierarchical system that exists in kitchens, it's kind of there for a reason. That doesn't mean that every job shouldn't be respected. We're all spending countless hours here, and particularly in the dish area, it is thankless. But also, no job is lesser than any other. Could you ever see yourself heading up a kitchen like Sydney? I believe that's very possible. I told them even when I started, if you guys need anything like a bus or a server or anything like that, I'm here. You guys need a dishwasher, I'm here. I can be on any level of this place and show you guys that I'm 100% for this place. What do you see for Dre? Where do you think he could fit in? Moving him more towards daytime so that he can start doing production with us. Learning how to work with another team, that's probably the next step for him. And I know he's very eager for that. Shift is done? Shift is done from 12.30 to 9 o'clock. Oh my God, how do you feel? Uh, I feel a little, little, uh, like I'm still generated. I, I still want to keep going. Tomorrow's going to happen fast, and I'm just ready to return. Just back and do it all again tomorrow. Like I never left. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. You guys have a great night. How do you feel about where you are in your life currently? I'm not in a place that I want to be in life. I'm still living with my brothers, I'm still living with my mom. I'm 25 years old. We're not in a position we always want to be in in life, not at the very moment. You can't be a superstar overnight. You have to keep on working on yourself until that opportunity comes your way so you can be ready for this opportunity.